Conservancy of Southwest Florida with drinks and diamonds to remember a friend of the community. Stephen Leonard died last week when a fire broke out in the business below him in the apartment where he lived on 5th Avenue South and 11th Street in downtown Naples. Four in your corner, Sabina Bassine at the memorial for him tonight and found out how his legacy will live on in the community. Sabina? It wasn't a night for tears. It was a night to celebrate. And from what I understand, Stephen Leonard or Stevie Diamonds to friends wouldn't have wanted it any other way. From the looks of it, there is no doubt that Stephen Leonard did shine bright like a diamond. Friends and family coming together today to celebrate a life taken too soon. He was so big. He was the tiniest little thing, but he was so big. His heart was amazing. His soul was amazing. Stephen, also known as Stevie Diamonds, for his love of jewelry. He knew his jewelry and was very passionate about being involved in the community, as you can see by the turnout here. The Conservancy of Southwest Florida paired with Port Royal Jewelers, hosting this memorial for a man they felt did so much. This was organized because we felt there was a great loss to the community because Stephen did so much charitable work. And Bill Boyajan, his boss, wants Stephen's philanthropic legacy to live on. What better way than pairing his two favorite things, charity and diamonds? He unveiled tonight the Stephen Leonard Diamond Award. Actual diamond of significance that will be presented to the community, a different charity each year. This year, the diamond is going to the Conservancy, something Bill knows would make Stephen proud. Or as Stephen would say, Oh my gusta. Jennifer Connery is on the show Paradise Coast Wives, a show Stephen appeared on too. She remembers the heartbreaking moment she heard the news. And it was like, wow, the end of an era almost, so to speak. Because how often are you going to find a kid like Stephen? It's a question the community is still trying to answer. The state fire marshal is still investigating, but believe the fire to be accidental. And they also think that the cause was electrical. Reporting in Naples, Sabina Bassine, Fox 4, in your corner. Recent cuts and closures at Chico's.